Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, as Odyssey's alpha, at least for PC players, gets closer and closer, the chat frontier is starting to increase, basically on a bi-weekly basis. But there's always a sort of tidbit that we can find out in the community and on the forums. And in this case, from developer Gareth Hughes, who has come back with a question and answer session on sees the interface um, and what you can be able to do in regards to player combat. So let's take a look. But I'll be fair, it's not the most exciting of topics. They do answer the questions, mostly. However, you know, some things I think are probably a given, like any first-person shooter when engaging with NPCs and things like that. And it tends to focus on what's happening in regards to combat, as opposed to what could be happening when you're walking around stations, which is a little bit of a shame. So, like I say, let's take a good look. So, posted by Paul Crowder, the community manager frontier, on the 22nd of January 21. First off, when we see this post, we're greeted with what we've all been waiting for, really. A little bit of interpersonal chat room content within Elite Dangerous. We're in the boozer. We're in the bar. And you can see people sat at the bar, holding tablets at tables, milling around, having a pint, or some other type of libation. Now, despite one guy, or could even be a woman, with their hands on the hips, even if he's doing the My Little Teapot, you just don't know, and someone who could well be Michael Jackson, with the white gloves there, and some nice loafers, in some sort of conversation. You've got a drink thing in the background there, drink dispensers, and you've got a waitress, and some flat screens. Just like what you get in McDonald's, so it just sees that the future is not that far away. Anyway, without dissecting the picture too much, let's get on to the meat of what's going on. So they say, 07 Commanders, I salute you. So they want to talk about the interface and changes to NPCs. Okay, so let's start off with the interface. It's the top section of this particular Q&A session. They say, will night vision or a light be available on the HUD? You will be able to upgrade suits in many ways. Night vision and lights are just two of the upgrades available. More on this in the future. All suits have a torch by default, though, so you'll always be able to see. Hmm. Okay, but night vision, it's on the ships as standard. If you've got your helmet on, you know, you would think, well, hmm, that might be fitted into the helmet. You just don't know, do you? Anyway, they're going to say be able to upgrade. They're very sort of like positive. Yes, all suits have lights. Night vision. From what we can determine from that, more than likely, it's going to be an upgrade. Okay, next question. Does the player show players and NPCs before combat? If so, do they change the indication ship? Yes. Much like in space, the radar displays information regarding players around them and their current state. Okay, so fair enough. Um, let's move on down. Can we officially call the second icon on the display Tigger Mode? Hmm. Yes, and that's away. So, okay. Um, will the HUD be customizable, i.e. different colors for the visually impaired? The interface will not be customizable for Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Now, as he, who has customized their head colors on their screen in their ship by effectively manipulating some of the files um, on PC for this, and being very aware that, you know, people do have visual impairments as well, can't see certain colors. I myself, after having laser eye surgery, can't see the colour blue that well. It's quite fuzzy. Anyway, it's a mission, I think, on the form of Frontier. They do so much work with um, fantastic charities like Special Effect, etc., and all the rest of it, to gaming to uh, disabled and disadvantaged communities. What with um, different controllers and, and what have you. That not being able to change your head colours, that's a hell of an omission. I wouldn't say it's a game changer, but you know, I mean, come on guys, this is the 21st century, right? Anyway, can players turn off their HUD? No, the HUD, whilst on foot, will be essential to getting around as it's in space. 
as it is in space. Okay. Continue with the last section on the interface. Can we hide from other players' radar? They state, we are still in the process of reviewing how PvP and the HUD will work, so they can't confirm an answer on that just yet. Now, some games, if you stay still, disappear off the HUD or off their radar, don't you? As soon as you start moving or shooting, then you appear. Now, if you're staying still and hiding, it would stand to reason that perhaps your inability to move wouldn't trigger on you. Anyway, we'll leave that to them and see what they come up with. But to be fair, on the interface, some okay questions. I wouldn't say they're groundbreaking. Let's hope the Odyssey NPC questions will be a little bit better. So, Odyssey NPCs. Let's scroll down so we get that fully on the page. So, will we be able to use NPCs as a team in combat or just other players? So, what they're saying is, if you're Billy No Mates um, and haven't got any friends, and they're out there who play solo, solo uh, other, or their friends haven't got the game right, you know, can you get other players, corral other players, NPCs into your team? Okay, so combat zones will be a mix of both computer AI characters and players on both sides. So I'm kind of thinking they're going to say yes. Do on foot NPCs spawn per instance, or is there some sort of permanence? If so, is it timed like space, POIs, or permanent? Hmm. I think they alluded to this in the last session. Anyway, Settlement AIs is spawned based on the settlement theme and state. Okay. The star system factors will also affect the AI difficulty. So the BGS can also have an effect. Okay. Not entirely sure what a BGS is. Background simulation. There you go. Does oxygen level impact combat ability and does this apply to NPCs as well? If your suit loses power, its life is shut down, causing the suit's emergency air supply to be used. If the emergency air supply is fully depleted, then you will start to asphyxiate. Something to look forward to, isn't it? Making aiming and lo more difficult. Loss of suit power will also stop you from using your assisted jump and your yo will change. Lowering awareness that is happening around you. Okay, so talk about sensory deprivation there. This does not affect AI as they will use consumable batteries to recharge their suit when required. Okay, so say they run out of consumable batteries then. How does energy level impact combat ability? Is it just about your shield generator? And do NPCs have the same energy constraint too? Energy levels are critical to combat as this powers your shields. This supply is not infinite, so you know when to activate your shields will be key. Well, there you are then. So they're saying don't walk around with your shields on all the time, being a clever dicky, because your shield battery power will run out and then you will be vulnerable. Can NPCs get into NPC vehicles or ships for combat, or are those treated separately? On foot, NPCs do not get into vehicles. Well, that's a shame, though they can deploy from drop ships. Hmm. Okay, that is a shame. Do on foot NPCs chase you? Yes, if given reason to. Okay, fair enough. Next up. Is combat AI scripted for the new settlement, or is the AI clever enough to adapt itself to open terrain or other obstacles? Ooh, good question. AI will actively investigate areas, report findings, use cover, and communicate to call in reinforcements. Yes, but is it clever enough to adapt? Didn't quite answer the question, but okay, you know, it'll actively investigate areas so you can assume and it is a big assumption yes any information on the scope of line of sight for the AI all AI line of sight 
dice will be governed by the same way the players. Okay, fair enough. Will NPCs engage in combat without player input? If you're wanted, NPCs may engage you without provocation. Okay. Um, will oxygen levels affect NPCs? Now, they kind of alluded to that at the top as well, didn't they? AI will not be affected by oxygen levels the same way the player is because they've got stuff to power their life support stated upstairs okay will npcs have different depending on the time of combat i.e will they be asleep if a player attacks at night npcs will not have time of day states oh now that's a shame because attacking at night it should be like say you know a weaker guard shouldn't it they're gonna be ready to fight like duracell batteries any time of the day. Okay, will we see ground combat between NPC factions like we do in conflict zones? Yes, conflict zones will be a mix of AI and players. Will you consider adding superpower navy armors for ground combat? I.e. NPCs wearing imperial federal uniforms or armor, or such armor being available to players. It could prove to be a very potent world build building tool. They are always looking at what customized options players would like to see in the game. So what they're saying is, no, didn't think of that. Um, next up, will there also be some kind of on-foot system authorities? Yes. Omnipol. They're often kitted out with the best gear. So if they turn up, make sure it's not for you. And that was the end of that. I really wasn't going to report on this. It's quite uninspiring, really. But it is news and it is development on the Elite Dangerous Odyssey game. Thanks very much for watching. If you're not so bored and you're still with me watching this video, like and subscribe, hit the notification icon and stay safe. Hello everybody, it's Ricardo and welcome back. It's Sunday, there's no rugby of any merit on because Wales played yesterday and beat Scotland. So we're not worried about the other matches. I've had my dinner, it was very nice. And I'm here with you today to play Elite Dangerous. And on cue, the dog is still barking at squirrels. Thank you dog. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, old Jupiter Rochester um, has broken away from Core Dynamics into an area. I was kind of, I've pledged my allegiance to Jupiter Rochester simply because I thought we might get some new ships. Truth be told, right, you know, we're probably going to get those ships regardless if they are ships at all to be had in Odyssey. There's got to be some sort of ships. It's all paved in the way that new ships would be a good addition so what we're doing is um, so what we're doing is we're gonna head on over into the conflict zones right um, I did a few yesterday and got my ass handed to me has to be said hello Dean how you doing um, let me just get rid of this dog one moment. And I'm back, and the dog is pacified, and we can all get on with what we're doing. I'm in my cutter. Cutter. Corvette. That's what I'm in. Uh, the Badger's Fang. All very much engineered, and of course, you've all been with me as I've engineered it on this stream. We've got multi cannons and beams, prismatic shields, 
a fighter bay, a master level NPC crew member. And despite all of that, on a medium conflict zone, I still got absolutely pummeled. At some stage, I got back into it. Hello, Marcus. Are you doing? Still got pummeled. I managed to limp back to um, that Jupiter Rochester carrier. Uh, the Victory, what's it called? It's called the Victory. The Victory's Forge with 0% hull. I think if I had sneezed or, you know, exhaled deeply, the hull would have gone, right? So we are where we are. So that was on yesterday's stream. That's been posted on the channel. We did a rerun of that as well this morning. I know some of you were on that. So thanks very much for supporting the stream there. So we're going to go in nice and easy. Start with the low conflict or the, the conflict zone, low intensity, because let's be fair. I mean, my combat skills aren't fantastic. And for some reason, the medium ones are rock hard. You know, you're coming in with no fighters left, nothing. You know, they're absolutely taking you out. We'll take some pause to look at um, what's going on. We've got Silver Group. Silver Legal Group is who we're fighting against. We're fighting for Jupiter Division. And we've had all sorts of ships in there. Corvettes and Asp Explorers to Eagles. You know, to the, the Vultures that have been particularly hard. The Vultures really have been particularly hard. So here we are entering the conflict zone. Let's get a little bit quicker. Good bit of combat. It's going to work on the old um, dangerous ranking. Currently at 77% of dangerous. I am determined to get to deadly by my birthday. And here we are. So let's boost in. Get our multi cannons ready. Deploy the fighter. Engaging telepresence. Stand by, Commander. And then let's get over to that. We're going to fight for Jupiter Division. Multiple hostiles in this zone, Commander. Here we go. Let's take this sausage out. Yes, welcome aboard, Commander. Can you all hear everything all right? Is the sound levels okay? A little bit more, perhaps? Okay. Right. There he is. Oh, look at that, look. He's got his tinsel out. Yeah, his hell's down. We're giving it to him. He's deployed his tinsel. He's got the multicolored glitter out. There's no escape. Come on, come on, come on. The low intensity as well, this, mind. You know, it's, it's crazy stuff. Is he doing a runner? He's doing a runner. 6% on his health. Hello, Ace. How's it going? Corona N. He's gone. Who's next? Ooh, look at that. A little Cobra Mark III. Well, let's pick on him. Yeah, like he's a federal master. Oh no, I'm under attack. One of the beam lasers still sort of like held on with its tracking there, didn't it? You know, it was, uh, oh, he's doing a runner. Oh, he's coming back around. And today's frosty libation is Stella Artois. All hail Valentine's Day, that's what I say. Right. 
here he comes in. Let's see if we can just wear him down now. Yeah, he's down to 50 odd percent, 33 percent. Got to get some more materials. Got to get back um, and get some heat dissipation worked out on some of these guns. Deader. Right, next. Uh, he's ours. Ooh, look at that. Um, okay, who's next? Who's closest? You're on a roll, Commander. Well, I've shot two. I don't know about being on a roll. Oh, someone's shooting at me. So that's just generally really bad form, isn't it? So we've got a, we got a vulture by there. But that basically means he's closer. Don't it? Him and his boosty boosters. Right. Oh, that's, I'm starting to think I could win this thing. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Ship is taking enemy fire. Request assistance. Well, the fighter is just going to have to do his own thing. I want to take out some of those. Python down. Who's next? Oh no, they've taken out my shields. What's going on here? I'm taking a beating. Hold out fifty percent. Help me, Commander. Someone's just rammed into me, but that's okay. That's his problem. Let's recall the fighter. It's all vultures, look. Oh, I'll take him out. Ah, oh, the fight is gone. Oh no, what will we do? Look at this. Little evil, having a go. Thinks he's hard enough. There we go. Fortunately, our shields is a little bit more engineering. I had some more components from the last battle, which was good. We're taking him out. Look at that. Wearing him down. He's boosting away. He's on fire. His hull is burning. Next fighter out. We've almost broken them. Understood. I bet. I What's this? He's an naughty boy. He's a silver group. Look at that. Asp Scout. Well, he won't last very long, will he? You'd think. Hopefully, I've not been rebalancing combat because I was doing great guns with this. Who's this? He's nine away. You're on a roll, Commander. Apparently I'm on a roll. This eagle has been the pain in my backside for quite some time. There you go. Oh, I surge detected, is it? Gone. Who's next? Another vulture. They're falling back. Great Battle one. So in that case, then I'll go back over there and get all my. See what materials we can pick up. Okay. 
So when you do the low intensity ones, right, you think, well, oh, that wasn't so bad. And then you get to the medium ones, and you think, bloody hell. Rampage Whales! I don't know which ship to buy for combat. How much money do you have? Python's not bad. Multi-roll. Nice little nippy fighter. Get a vulture for a song. Um, you know, fast little tough ship. Uh, we're sticking it to the feds. I'm fighting the losing battle, which is old Jupiter Rochester. So we're fighting for him. Um, in the hope, <laughs> and it was hope, right, that um, it might have had some sort of like impact on the background simulation and what we would get. But unfortunately, doesn't seem to be the case. But we've got quite a few um, other things around we can pick up. Look, there's plenty of, of good things we can pick up. We're going to recall the fighter. Fighters coming in, the flying monkey limpets are bringing back whatever swag they've picked up. Yeah, I mean, I was mixing it up with a couple of Corvettes earlier on. And uh, that, was, that was quite good. So, fight for Jupiter Division. How bad's it going? Well, from what I checked back at the carrier, it wasn't going particularly well. I mean, ooh, look at that. I'm on the top 75%. I get a whole 400,000 credits, everybody. Um, ooh. Yeah. Not as lucrative as what it was in the community goal we had last week, which, you know, I walked away with 24 million for getting in the top 25%. Here you'd be lucky to get 1.2 million credits uh, and access to the system. So, hmm. But it's something to do, isn't it? And it works on the old combat bond. Playing both sides for them, many. Shameless? You are, my man. You certainly are. Totally shameless. But, you know, you've got to say, you know, entrepreneur as well. Okay, so we got some more materials coming in, so it's not a bust. We've got the best part of 500,000 credits for that particular engagement. Uh, and I've got bounties as well to pick up. Should I survive that long? I know what you mean, Steve. I'm trying to get that many up. And um, a whole 104,000... 100, 104 million credits. You know, it's not quite enough. I mean, it's more on the carrier, but... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just jump out. Let the shield recharge a bit. Drop back in. You know the score. So those medium conflict zones, they are savage. I'm not sure they got the balance wrong or what, I don't know, but it was, it was savage. Well, here we go, let's get the fighter on the go. Again, Jupiter Division, fight for the faction. We're outnumbered here, Commander. 
Oh, we're outnumbered. Oh no, what will we do? Whoa, well, we're good. They don't like it up them. What have you got? That looks like it's just being a sneaky sausage. Yeah, it is. Right, there you are. Stop shooting up glittery tinsel at me. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Shields are down. Let's give it to him. Oh, look. There you go, look. He crashed into us. That must have, like, you know, knocked all the tinsel off his shelves. Guns, give him a paste in. Oh no, we're under attack again. Yeah, anti chaff. Do you know what? You know, or more focused lenses on whatever it is, you know, you, you could possibly have for that. Let's put the fuel scoop down, uh, cargo scoop down. Right, what we got here? There he is, let's get over there. Right, there he is, someone's having a go, look. Him. Who is he? Oh, good grief. Gone. Next. He's five. You're on a roll, Commander. Oh, I'm on a roll. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's a roll, everybody. Afternoon, Ibex the Goat. How's it going? I hope we're all having a nice Sunday. It's a nice, relaxing Sunday for me. something that might be a bit of a challenge for us let's change the fighters thing to orders engage at will go do something I, that's, that's why I, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I thought I'd go for, um, you know, the underdog-like. I, I quite like the idea of mixing up the narrative. But, you know, it, it, it just goes to show that, that there's no real additional narrative here to, to work through. You just get access to the community goal, um, to the, the system. And you get some discounts. Well, that's okay if you've got money to spend, isn't it? I mean, if you haven't got money to spend, then... It's not very good. Come on, we got chaff to flip in. Support ASAP, Commander. Sustaining enemy fire. Sustaining enemy fire. Oh no, the fighter's gone. Fat lot of good that was, anyway. It's a tough little ship. The Federal Assault Ship. Yeah, how'd you like that? 
Ship's bloody crashing into me and everything. Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Just going to use a shield cell now. Try and boost some things up a bit. And this is a normal... You know, this is nothing special. It's a low-intensity combat zone. And we're struggling. Well, I'm struggling with this. Have they got the balance completely wrong? I don't know. But you know, all, all Jupiter Rochester is losing. So I've decided on what new PC I'm going to be getting. <clears throat> I just got to wait a week or so. Um, decided to go for the 3090 graphics card. NVIDIA one. Um, it's got some pretty good specs on it. And I'm just deciding to move away from, you know, I, I normally go for Intel processors. I'm deciding to go for... Uh, um, an AMD Ryzen 9. But the question is, build it yourself and have all the all the heartache, or get someone to build it for you. Now I've worked in IT for 30 odd years, and I'm not a stranger to building my own PCs. I'm not. When you got all the stuff like the cooling and all the rest of it water coolers and added fans and quiet fans and oh you've got to have you know PCIe 3.1 and 3.1 version 2 and all the rest of it you think, oh, oh good god is there just somebody who will do it for me um, and for that pleasure you probably spend an extra 400 500 pound if you can get the components at the moment oh I think he's gone has he gone, or is he doing what I was doing? Well, he's still going. He's got 0% hull, look. And he's got his shields back online. Bless him. Um, so yeah, anyway, I decided to go, I think, with a company uh, called Gladiator PC. Sounds very powerful, doesn't it? And I use a lot of Corsair components and all the rest of it. And you know, I, I thought they had exactly what I wanted. Um, which was great. They had exactly what I wanted. And um, I didn't think it was so bad. But what I have noticed is the amount of money the components are costing these days. It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. It seems to be paying, we pay, we're now paying about 20% extra. Easy. And what with the processor and chip shortages um, that you can, that are out there now. You know, I mean, all the Bitcoin miners are out there buying the, the big graphics cards. So they're coming at a premium. So, you know, it's some heavy stuff. It is a bad time even to build or buy a PC because, you know, I was looking on the HP website and I've got a long affinity with HP uh, PCs. I used to work for them years ago. And, um, you know, the machine I've got here is a HP NV Phoenix, right? Great PC. It's done me really well. I was looking on there and it's all, you know, Ryzen 7s and things like that and 
low power graphics cards. It is terrible. Really bad time, like you say, to buy a PC. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking, is it time to get one? Right? Or is it time just to hold off a bit and wait? You know, the cautious side of me says, wait, wait, my young apprentice. Um, but, you know, then there's, then there's a sort of like, you know, person, the other sort of like, oh, I must have new PC, shiny graphics, shiny stuff. Um, to go and actually out and buy one. I don't know. I mean, I sit here all day, every day. Yeah, see, Steve, that's the same thing, see. That's, that's where I'm thinking. Just hanging out a couple of more months, see how things are going. See, you are the voice of reason. There's people in the chat here complaining that, you know, a hundred million is about an hour's work in Rubigo. Don't give in to shiny. I know, but it's so shiny. Um, but like, here's the, here's the thing. I mean, what, what have I got? I've got an i7, um, fourth gen, and a 1070 graphics card, right? So it's not too bad, but I'm starting to see it become slow in certain areas, especially with the content creation, video rendering, all that sort of stuff in regards to what's going on. So, you know, I reckon it probably would last me, well, it would probably last me another year or so, depending on the graphical requirements of things like Odyssey. You know, um, so it probably, probably would be worthwhile holding on a little bit. But I just thought this one particular company, Gladiator PC, they um, they look quite good. Well, I mean, yeah, the i7 I've got is not bad. Um, of course, the i9 is out now, isn't it? But it's the multi it's the amount of cores is the key thing with everything. But the GPOs, I mean, the 1050s that I've got in my kids' PCs, because they play Fortnite and God knows whatever, NVIDIA are bringing them back out now, and, uh, well, not bringing them back out, but they're reproducing them because, you know, everyone's after the other higher-powered um, GPUs. And as a result, you can't get them. Have we beaten this yet, or what? Let's get back into the thing. What's going on over here? There's a bit of mischief going on over here. Who's this? We've got his shields down. Little, little assault ship. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, but it, it's very tempting, isn't it? You think, well, hmm, new PC, hmm, shiny stuff. Oh, look at that! We're giving this dangerous vulture a right pasty.
Yeah, you know, it's, it's a good point, isn't it? Top of the morning, Joe. Um, you know, I do use it every day. And, of course, I would cannibalise this PC and upgrade my kid's PC. So my son, who's the Fortnite player, he plays the Fortnite. He cranks the 90s. Um, he would get the 1070 and I would put the 1050 back in this this PC. I mean, they've got, they've got Gen... Gen 7 i7s in there, so there's a newer than mine. Steve, do you know what? Yeah, you're right. Uh, same thing, you know, I mean, um, the stuff people buy, and you think, well, oh. it's like certain things I think it's worthwhile getting, because a lot of us, you know, we spend hours in front of a computer playing games. It's an investment, because, hey, you can't go down the pub. Um, and not only that, and I'm not a particularly big drinker anyway, but, you know, a decent television. Because that's entertainment these days, isn't it? That's pretty good. You know, and a good mattress. That's all you need in life. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm considering it. I'm, I'm going to... I am considering it. Where's this guy going? Oh, jumping away, is he? Oh, if we won that. So it would appear I'm now going to fly over to where those other items are. The limpets get out there and do their thing. Ugh. Yeah, so first world problems, eh? What PC to buy? Hmm. I still haven't got my new chair. Delivery on the new chair is, I think, March the 14th. So we'll, we'll have to see. No one's come back to me yet on that. So what did we get that time? We've got, um, I'd imagine, a few more bonds. We're still knocking around the tier 1, tier 2 mark. in the top, it's just in the top 75% of everything. But it's good fun, it's good turn your brain off viewing, I suppose. Let's make sure we get this stuff picked up. Polymer capacitors, oh, we'll have some of that. There's people in the chat here complaining how um, challenging even the low combat zones are in engineered condors. Interesting stuff. How are we doing our, in regards to stuff? we still got quite a few uh, munitions. We could probably do another round. Yeah, new chairs, you know, and it's that secret lab, um, what is it? It's the Omega I think I went for. Um, 
just black, standard, no funny business. I did think about the Batman print on it, right? And, um, well, you know. Batman, hmm, yeah, exactly. And a bit of Game of Thrones, well, that's long gone now, isn't it? You know, so there's all these different prints you could have. A bit of Hello Kitty if you really wanted to. Um, so I just went for the plain one, gold, gold piping, all that sort of stuff. You know, nice. Swing back around, re-engage into the conflict zone. Here we go. So, um... How are we doing with this? Most people seem to be in here with Jupiter Division. Okay. Let's find someone. Welcome aboard, Commander. Little federal gunship. Let's give him some let's give him what for. Right. Oh, shields down already. Blimey. I wouldn't say I'm enjoying this community goal as much as I did perhaps the last one. I mean, they're, they're all pretty boring, mind, aren't they? I quite like the old, so like, go over here, find that, scan this, do this. Go over there, find that, scan that, do that. Come back, hand all the information. I quite like that aspect of things. Gone. Cool. Um, I'm right in the thick of it, yeah? Let's pick up any stuff while we're out there. Who, who's this guy over here? Oh, look at that. He's just sat there. We can have a go at him just from here. While the limpets are doing their things, look. says something when you can't even take out an asp explorer cliff he should be three shots and gone bit of engineering going on obviously but So the weapons just don't seem to be doing the damage like they should do. Strange, isn't it? Here he comes. Got his tinsel on the go, look. Kapow! Who's that guy having a pop? Oh, look, it's a 
vulture, everybody. Look at that. Okay. People going on about how their pythons eat commu uh, conflict zones for breakfast. Right, we've got this guy's shields down now, so that's... Uh, he's only an expert grade. Let's lay down some of this. He's got the glitter on the go. Oh, look, a Corvette. Oh, right, we'll shoot him. He can't really go far, can he? Got to keep an eye on my shields. There goes the cargo. I think we missed, just managed to get some shields back. Got his shields down. Good. to shoot another Corvette with a Corvette I think. There's, there's something I don't know there's something poetic about it shooting a Corvette with a Corvette Victory's close, I can feel it. It kind of sort of like gives you a bit of sort of like validation that you're doing something right with your Corvette if you shoot another Corvette, I think. Our shields are nearly out. running out of ammunition here. I don't really want to go using my materials to Oh, now he's got his missiles out, look. Our shields are down. He's tried ramming. Who is that shooting me? They're falling back, apparently. So it's been a significant increase, fine, fair enough. Let's get the collectors on the go. 
Another round lost. Uh, one, I should say. Well, yeah, the Type 10 frag platform. Oh, yeah, it's interesting you should say that, isn't it? I've never done much work with the Type 10. I really should sort of, like, engineer it up. But what do you engineer a Type 10 to? Um, other than, like, another sort of, like, shield tank. Muran. Yes, you're right. Anything important like a ship, you'll get it regardless. Um, you're right there. Totally right. What's going on here? Right, nothing, nothing to pick up apparently, but there's stuff over there, look, so. Let's get ourselves over towards that, so we can pick up whatever all those things over there are. Then I think it's time to get ourselves back to rearm. At the old Victory's Forge. Victory's Forge, everybody. Yeah, it would, it would be Hell and Shield tank, wouldn't it, really? Um, so we're right there. So for all those of you who are joining us via YouTube, welcome. For those of you who are joining us via Twitch, welcome, welcome. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also do a follow if you haven't already done so. Because that sure helps out. Um, we're also on Facebook Gaming. Though I must say I don't really understand that, to be perfectly honest. On Ricardo's Gaming. And also Stream, which is... A sort of like, um, it's in beta, Steam's streaming service. Uh, so, God knows what that's doing for us. God knows indeed. But, we all like a bit of combat and elite dangerous ofs. So what are we picking up here then? So, what have we got? Oh, look at that. High density composites. Precipitated alloys and electrochemical arrays. We will have all of that. There's the old guns. Running low on ammunition. Very impressive. What I think would be good with Odyssey as well is to have the ability to have more crew members and have more fighters launch. Like, I got two fighters here, right? Why can't I have the NPCs at the same time out there doing my bidding? If you're a certain grade. Now, you know, if you're Imperial, you'd have to be, you know, a Duke or a King, right? Once you get to that level. Obviously, the Fed, you know, Admiral. Um, and Vice Admiral or Rear Admiral, all these sort of like lovely things. Once you get to Admiral, you should be able to command a fleet of ships to come in and help you out from your back catalogue and act as NPCs. I think that would be good. Because what's the point of these ranks other than buying a ship? There is no point, is there? Um, and I've always like, been a long sort of like, sort of like uh, proponent for these sort of things. Let's jump towards it. We're doing slightly better than we did on the yesterday's stream where I rolled in with 0% hull after going to a medium conflict zone. That was something I can tell you. Well, deadlock style battle planning. It's a very good point. Sneaky Dino, thanks for giving a follow. So, you're right. I mean, that's sort of like planning. But how far do you take the game? I mean, they're just moving now from 
what's typically a flight simulator game, a space flight simulator game now, to um, a first-person shooter. Dress it up any way you want to, but that's what Frontier's doing. They're adding a first-person shooter element under the guise of space legs, but without the point that we really want, which is the ability to walk around your ships. I don't know. I mean, I know we discussed it on other streams, but who's looking forward to the first-person shooter aspect of this? Or are they just going to stay, you know, it'll be a novelty, you'll stay in your ship for the majority of things and, and let the game develop? I mean, you know, it'll be a novelty, and, and, you know, I do streaming, as we all know, right? Streaming now. Uh, so I'll go in, I'll play it, and I'll have a go. But here's the thing. Once you've done all the first person, person missions and things like that, how much returnability is that first person aspect going to bring to the game? You know, I've quite wondered this with Star Citizen. It seems to be, you know, all things to all men with Star Citizen. And I know we've spoken about this before as well. But, um... you got to wonder if they're going down the right, the right route with this. Well, that I can see. Stealth and infilt infiltration, I can see that. Okay, I requested docking then. Landing pad one is my landing pad. Is that it? Could be, couldn't it? Oh yes it is, there's pad one. Oh no, I'm being scanned. I don't know, I just I just hope they get I just hope they get it right first time. You know, because much anticipation and all that. Okay. So, let's just go to the advanced maintenance. See, we're not making much money on this at all. Once you put your repairs and your rearming and all the rest of it in. Um, how many limpets we got? Let's go with that. Leave the paintwork as it is. Um, right. Yes. Contacts, combat bonds, 2.2 million. Well, it's not worth that, is it? This is ridiculous. I don't know how they think this is a compelling use of people's time. I mean, I know I'm doing it, so I'm being a bit hypocritical, but, you know, it's hard work, isn't it? For what it is. Launch away. Okay, so I'm going to have a go, at a medium intensity one. I think. Um, no, I have to deselect that, right? Hmm. 
Let's get away from the ship. There it is. Goodbye, ship. We're getting straight in and now we're going to have a go at the medium. And hopefully you won't get my arse handed to me. Because that would really be, you know, sort of a bit of a... Sort of moment, wouldn't it? Okay, so hopefully we're past the planet. There it is, medium intensity. In between those two, let's get over there. Got a full complement of fighters back, which is good. Well, I'm friendly with Jupiter Division. I've only been doing mass murder for them. Good God, this game cracks me up. Okay. Warning, you're entering a conflict zone. Good job. To all that for two million? Good God, this is ridiculous. I mean, you'd get more bounty hunting, wouldn't you? Okay, here we go. Let's boost in. Deploy the fighter. Roger that, sir. Deploying the fighter. Fighter, fighter deployed. Oh, Ooh, look at this. Who we got? Um... Right. Oh, we're outnumbered. Bloody hell, we are. We are a bit, aren't we? Let's go for that one. It's sneaking up behind us. There we go. That's him. He's going to have it. Take out the Viper. On. Right, who's next? Let's go for that cheeky monkey over there. Good shooting, Commander. Good shooting, Commander. I know, it really is bad. It's, um... Yeah, you know, I can the I can the sec ops. There he is, coming in. See if you can snipe him a bit. It's only a viper as well, mind. How bad can these things be? But we are getting not an awful lot of money for this, so... Brilliant. Alright, who's next? 
another way. He's gone. Next. Nicely done, Commander. Let's go for something a bit meatier. Here he is. Fire all weapons. We've got him right on his dorsal. Yesterday I was in here and I just was getting my ass handed to me. Jinx on everything, haven't they? Oh, I thought we could win this thing, Commander. Go on, next. You're on a roll, Commander. Hmm. Let's take out this then. Seems he's right up me trumpet. He's deployed his tinsel, look. Let's take out that Corvette. Let's get right in here. Get into the mix of it. Hang on, who's that shooting at me there? How dare you shoot at me? Oh, it's another little Viper. Look at that. You've got to admire him, but they, they will generally, you think, oh, I'll just forget about that. And next thing you know, you're on about 10% hull, and things aren't looking too good for you. Come on, come on, come on. Take your shields down. Shields are down. Getting a smash in. Next. Where's you? What's that mean? Well, stop firing all your glitter at me then, and I can shoot you. Yeah, don't like that, do you? Hello, Commander Bullet. Nice to see some of the old favourites back. So it's obviously it's Valentine's Day then, right, innit? So the, so my missus, you know, add, add her chocolates and all the rest of it. And, um, you know, lovely. Didn't get me anything, got me a card, half assed. Oh, yeah, yours is coming tomorrow. Yeah, of course it is. Um, yeah. Oh, I got you a bottle of bottle of Penderin, which is Welsh whiskey, which is very nice. Don't know what. Uh, obviously, she's on the back foot, so a good thing then, which means, you know, nice dinner cooked for me. How many of you actually bother? And I, I the reason why I'm saying this about Valentine's Day, those of us of a certain age will do it because we've been sort of like brought out and indoctrinated with it right but my son who is 22 i said oh did you buy your missus um some valentine's day card and a present you know first year you'd be going out with her nice no nothing didn't buy anything oh lovely this might be the last valentine's day you have with her then oh no no, no. um no, she's not buying me anything, and I'm not buying her anything. And I had to have a little bit of a chuckle, do you think? I thought, who's the more sensible? 
Right, let's take this Corvette out. Put another fighter. You know, and you got to think, well, and perhaps they're right because you know, I mean, things like Valentine's Day, Easter cards. Here's another one that gets me: Grandparents' Day. But when did that happen? They get birthdays, they get Christmas. Now there's a Grandparents' Day. Do you know about this? And of course, you know, a few days abroad, outside of the UK, there's Name Day they've tried to bring in over here. Here forever in Clintons. Well, you're not in Clintons because they've been close, but you know what I mean. Thoughtful or moving, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you think, well, why me? Um, that's craziness. We're going to take out this guy here. He gone. These are the spec ops. Lashing in with the old cannons. He's having it left, right and center. He is, look, look at him. He certainly doesn't like it up him, does he? Look at him. Running away. Let's get in there a bit closer. This make me laugh. So have you got your... Matt, <laughs> you gotta love the ingenuity of it though, innit? You know, yeah, cross the Christmas bit out. Uh, yeah, it's fab, innit? Um... <laughs> Personally, I don't, I don't care one way or another. But like, heaven help you fellas, if, um, if you forget a knave remembered, that's a completely different story, isn't it? You know, if you forget and um, and they haven't. Well, that's another kettle of fish, isn't it? They're bugging out. Well, that wasn't so bad. So, Matt, I'm glad it's not just me. I'm glad, um, you know, it's, look at it, it's, it's all loads of bloody materials everywhere. There go the limpets. All power to shields. It is a waste of time, money and cash. You know, it's it's a waste of everything. You know? I'll be fair. Um You know, birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day, I think is important. Because, you know, but then I get slagged off. Cool, you didn't get me anything for Mother's Day. I said I did. I got you something off the kids. And to be fair, I'm not your you're not my mother. Right? That's what I say. Uh, and that always sort of gets me um, nowhere. <laughs> but let's face it. So there you are. So then, um, you know, it's, it's got to be a whole extravaganza for Mother's Day and Father's Day. And that just cracks me up, to be perfectly honest.
nice because um you know appreciation cat you can't even go out for a nice meal can you right that's one of those things but um you know bottle of wine box of chocolates happy whereas my daughter who is 12 she's got a little boyfriend right first year of comprehensive school so i have to get my rocking chair and shotgun out um cad comes through the door and she's all excited so she opens it and there was two small packets of Haribos. You know the Haribos you get like in the Halloween sort of gift packs? Right? And then... And they must have been around since Halloween because they were a bit hard and stale. So anyway, she liked it. I, I cracked up. I thought it was really funny. But hey, there you go. Commercialization of love, everybody. That's what it is. So, we're recharging. We're going to retract all our bits and pieces. Nope, that's... Better bring the fighter back, I suppose. On my way, um, yeah. So what's everybody watching on Netflix then? There's Space Sweepers has just popped out onto Netflix. I haven't seen it yet. I've still got The Expanse to watch. And I'm still working my way through House of Cards. Which, do you know what? I've thoroughly enjoyed that. I've thoroughly enjoyed House of Cards. <laughs> so, um, okay, where are we? Jump. House of Cards is really good. Multi-layered. It's sort of like sneaky drama. I mean, you can imagine it being done back in the 70s when Dallas was in its heyday. Okay, that's... Um, what did we get for that? We didn't get much for that either, did we? That's, that's a crazy man. We're going back in. We're going in again. One division. Yeah, it is growing on me too. Um, but let's face it. The first six episodes of One, where are we now? Five. Let's say the first four episodes episodes of One Division were terrible. Yeah, I've seen Boardwalk Empire. It's really good. Right. Who are we gonna pick on? Welcome aboard, Commander. That's a good day's work. All targets are down. Target shields offline. Stranger Things, also good. Narcos. Now better call Saul. Hmm. Watched the first season of that. Didn't get back into it, so I must. I think I think they kind of sort of waited too long from Breaking Bad that was my fear and I, I watched that I bought the box set of that and then watched it all in one go before streaming and um, I really enjoyed it but then again that's what we're doing now it's it's the binge watching mentality of stuff isn't it
you know, where you used to go to go to Walmart or go to Asda and say, right, um, I'll buy a box set and we'll watch that. So October to November when America turns their television off because they're doing other things. Um, you know, now it's all on demand, isn't it? Although I've got to say, some of the Netflix films are absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's gone. Next. Who's this on the periphery here? Little Cobra Mark II. And why is my fighter just bloody... Yeah, that El Camino, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I watched it, you know, it was kind of, you know, it did sort of put a lot of questions of the fan base to bed. Come on, he sh I thought he was going to collide with me then. Don't rob me. Gone. There he is. There's a sneaky little python over there. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. We're getting in there. Here he goes. He's coming right at us. Someone else is giving him some a good pounding. Let's take this ASP scout out. He's gone. Who's next? Too far away. Vulture. Another one down. Keep going, Commander. More like a spec ops vulture. Let's go and have a go at that then. Who 
who's he? He's a Spec Ops Vulture, a wing of Spec Ops Vultures. Let's get in a little bit closer. Give him a good little tickle. Yeah, you and your chaff. Oh, that fighter, they don't stop moaning, do they? So we've got someone giving me a, a bit of a pasting as well on the periphery. Don't know who that is. I'm going to try and get that vulture out the way first. There he is. That's wearing it down nicely. Say smashing him up. Smashing him up. Gone. Oh, someone shot the fighter. No. Bigger ship to shoot. Oh, there we are, look. Corvette. That'll do for me. Let's get in there. How engineered is this ship? They're retreating. Great work, Commander. He, you really made He's retreating, is he? I want to take him out. He won't, because I'm on him. And he's gone. So that wasn't so bad either. Okay, I lost a fighter. What? How much did I get for all that? Next to bugger all. Rubbish. If you want people to do this sort of stuff, Frontier. Oh, I don't know. Unbelievable. I did think it'd be a bit better than that. I really did think it'd be a bit better than that. But never mind, it is what it is.
So how many people here? There's 25 of you currently on the stream. Um, how many people are doing this community goal? Because it's boring. What ship am I flying? The Corvette. Is what I'm flying. A link to the loadout. No, I've got to sort that. I'll sort a link to the loadout of the ship. Um, but it's typically the down-to-earth astronomy build. Dave's build. A few little changes in regards to what I had to do to engineer the ship up. Um, got prismatics on it. Got me beam lasers on it. Uh, what are we doing, bro? Where do let's go and reload? We are burning through. We are burning through a lot of things here. A lot of munitions. Let's recall. Here it comes. There goes the fighter. Time to go back and rearm, hand the bounty ducats back in. But we're certainly not getting the sort of many we were getting last week. And, and the week before that, even. Look at that, <laughs> it's just, Ridiculous. Incidentally, where are we? We're 79% of dangerous now, so we're, we're creeping up. Oh, God. We're creeping up on deadly. The Victory's Forge. Time to disengage. My dock, please. Yes, all the way over there. Got pad one. Uno, pado. Pado, uno. Mega ship skins. They're expensive. Um, I forget, I think I worked it out. It was about £12 a skin or £9.99 a skin. 
because I thought, oh, do you know, I, I quite fancy I made a different skin because the Victory skin, even though it looks all right, I quite liked the Nautilus one, the scientific one. A bit 2010, A Space Odyssey and all that. Oh, these ones here. I, ah, I see what you mean. Uh, was expensive. There's no reason why there couldn't be more skins for the fleet carriers. Two point four million. That's utter utter rubbish. Utter rubbish. Have I have I got any limpets? Don't forget your limpets. Oh, we've got plenty. Well, there you are then. I mean, that's kind of... That's kind of where we're at with this. This is, this is just rinse, repeat, isn't it? You know? It, it's, it's bloody rubbish, to be honest with you. I mean... It's really rubbish, to be honest. What else we got in the system? We've got their station is around here somewhere, isn't it? Where is it? Northrop Enterprises. Right. Let's launch. Let's just pop over to Northrop Enterprises uh, and see what they've got going for us to do. But these payouts are utter, utter rubbish. So I'm going to be right back, I'm going to recharge my drink and a brief rest, be two minutes, stay right there.
Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Northrop Enterprises. That's where we're off to now. Uh, right, SD select it. Jump. Uh, where's the Hazrez? There's a resource extraction high. Let's try that, shall we? Instead. Could get a tidy bit of scratch for that. Black community goal, to be fair. I'm kind of done with it now. Um, I don't think any of you can really blame me, but I am done with it. The reason why I say I'm done with it is quite simple. Um, I'm done with it. Not enough money to be made for the effort you're putting in. And, and for what? Oh, you get a permit for the system. Well, you know, whatever. So, as suggested by Steve Static 93 the Hazrez. You are Steve, you're famous. Let's hope this is a bit better. Oh look, I'm being interdicted by somebody as exciting for you. An eagle, you having a laugh. My own people are interdicting me. Good God. Go away, you silly little man. might get a plaque put it on your wall I don't know <laughs> right there you go we're off I like how a federal navy eagle can interdict a federation cutter there's no rhyme nor reason to it is there Ace, spot on there, mate. Exactly. What's the point of the feds winning all the time? There's going to be a civil war. Let there be a civil war. You know? Be a bit interesting, wouldn't it? You know, what else is power play to be used for? Bloody load of rubbish. Get my modules and I just flip-flop to the next one. Okay, so we're coming in on the resource extraction site. Hi. Let's see if we can last a bit longer in here. Here we are, we're dropping out. Cool. Oh, further lands. The Calypso. Let's launch the fighter. Stand by, Commander. Right, who we got knocking about then? Fighter is live, awaiting orders. The mighty Sepukla. Sepukla.
Let's get into the mix. See what mischief we can get up to. See what we can rack up. There's already a bit of mischief going on there, look. There he is. They gave him a shot across the bows. That was great, wasn't it? and use a bit more beam lasers. What the hell the LZ armed with? The D missiles. Go away. Next. There he is. Oh, it's an eagle. Look at that. What he'll do. Ha! Ran into us, and he's gone. Right, there he is. Let's just put the anchors on. Let's orientate ourselves. There he is. Expert Eagle. Okay, let's let the, the limpets go out. Who else have we got in here? Fighters on patrol. What have we got out there? Mines, limpets. Yeah, all that stuff. Non-lethal weapons, reactive armor. Yeah, we'll have all of this. Why not? All of a sudden, I've had more fun in that five-minute engagement, if that's what it was, than um, I had in the last two. There you have it. And I'm getting more materials, which is what it's all about. I think, anyway. Frontier really have to start making these, these combat missions, these community goals, a bit more interesting. As opposed to, go here, shoot this faction, then fly here. Isn't that good? I mean, the last one was slightly better, because you had an engineered module, so you you were getting something and the money was good this that's a rubbish so he's from core dynamics why couldn't he if he's core dynamics every core dynamic ship why didn't frontier put an adjustment in there that you could dock with that ship the victory's forge in a core dynamic ship right and get say a hull boost or a yeah, get a hull boost. Wouldn't that have been a bit better? As opposed to all this. That would get people out there actually doing something and invested and interested in the game. Right, who's naughty? Uh, he's a naughty boy, isn't he? Look at that. Let's give him a bit of a tickle. 
with the laser. Seems we're doing nothing. I just dumped the heat sink, didn't he? Gone. That's better, 203,000. Now we're getting the sort of money um, you'd like, you, you'd expect. Ships, what we got in the area then? Who's this? The payday. Right, you should turn around and attack us now. Great. He's coming right at us. Yeah. Engineered little ship. You got some shield cell banks on there as well. It's not going to help him, though. He's gone. Who's next? Plenty of people scanning me. No, oh, pitiful little ships. Magnus Fullman has deployed hard points. Who's this? Oh yeah, look. See, I'm shooting my own ships here. They get by this lot here, Jupiter Division. I feel like I am betraying them because the feds are on them, look. Come on, get rid of your tinsel. There we go. Come Kalista Alexander, who is deadly and wanted. Here he comes. Yeah, I mean, how far do you go with that, selling engineered stuff from your fleet carrier? You could do it by license, couldn't you? Align yourself with a body, you know, Imperials, Federation, what have you. Get enough sort of like reputation in that with, with the engineer and you can sell perhaps say, I don't know, class one upgrades. Align yourself with an engineer and a faction. That's perhaps how it should be, it should be done. Stop some of the pointless, you know, 
traveling around the galaxy to get to engineers. Become an engineering affiliate. That could be something. Are we shooting this or what? Right, here we go. This bloke with his... It's so irksome, isn't it? It's tiresome. Anti-chaff. You want anti-chaff lasers. That's a good day's work. All targets are down. That's what you want. Well, in a ship like this, anything's too speedy, really, but I know you're in. Let's get the, um, the limpets on the go. They're picking up all manner of stuff. Tempered alloys, all the rest of it. What have we got in the cargo hold as it happens? One ton of semiconductors. Ooh. It's painful though, isn't it? Games shouldn't be painful like this. They should be more engaging. Is there anyone close enough to shoot without moving? Can't bother to move. Doesn't look like, does it? Well, there you have it, everybody. It's, um... Seems to be one of those things. I think next week... On the streams... I feel like doing... some more guardian stuff we've done the the thargoids to death you know perhaps we'll go and do um the Ga guardian space beacons and then some of the other guardian sites simply because it's going to mix it up a little bit i don't think anything else is going to happen in game just yet but we'll have to wait and see so that's one of the ideas i've got going on Yeah, the big the big beacon. Because it's good and you get um, additional blueprints. You never know when that's going to come in handy. So we'll do that on one day. And then I think on the other day we'll do the traditional, the first load of Guardian sites. Not the ones with the the, the central, um, where you've got to shoot all the beacons, right? And then get that. We'll, we'll go around and scan the, um, do the archaeology side of things. I reckon. That's what I think we'll do.
Okay. So a quick scan around, see who we've got going on. Still getting um, some encoded information off some of the ships. It's a bit of mischief going on over here, look, so perhaps we'll get over there and see what's going on. Let's mix it up with some of these ships here. Now we're in the mix of it, that's it. Nice bit of combat going on. Gone. Right, who next wants a bit? Who's close? Yeah, I've got one. I got the um, Satec X52. Had it about ooh, four or five years now. It's been brilliant. There's a lot more complicated and expensive ones out there. Don't get me wrong, but you know it was it was mid price range. Yeah, I said I got the X X fifty two with the throttle. It's a great, um, it's a great stick. I highly recommend it. So I've had mine years, so um, I've been quite lucky there, really. And it still feels, you know, nice and taut. There's been no no problems so far, but 
again, all these things, I suppose, built in China, aren't they? So goes back to like we were saying about PCs the other day. You know, components are at a premium. There's an Imperial Courier behind us. Let's go over there. Why not? Because we can. Gone. That's a good day's work. All targets are down. Yeah, this weekend for streaming, right, and for playing this game, it's been a bit damp. I must admit, when I say damp, it's not been very exciting. And I do apologise on my part for that. Um, what to do next is, is the best thing. Like I say, the Guardian stuff. Nothing that hasn't been done, but I'll do it again. Because, you know, it's stuff i got to collect. And might as well turn around and do the grind with you lot watching. Because there's someone to talk to, you know, and keep an eye on the chat. Um, so, Matt, you're going to buy this stick then? Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, I mean, they've been... It's a good stick for that. It started with Star Wars Squadrons. Then they bought Flight Sim in. You know, it's, it's an utter mess. And, you know, it's supply and demand, isn't it? So it all started with squadrons. And you've got to, you've got to think what's going to happen with Star Wars squadrons. Now it seems that Lucasfilm, LucasArts, have taken the franchise of Star Wars games sort of back in-house. I mean, when I say back in-house, Ubisoft's doing another one, aren't they? It's not all EA. I don't know what that sort of, that sort of the connotations of that for the EA agreement are. And what's going to happen to games like Battlefront and all that. Which I still play Star Wars Battlefront today. i tell you what I also play is Star Wars Battlegrounds. That's a really good game. You know? Really good. I still like that. So we're picking up materials. Everyone seems to have buggered off. Let's get ourselves to Northrop Enterprises. Because why not? Oh, hang on. Let's recall the fighter. How many of you here um, have played Subnautica? That's a question. 
Good, good old Subnautica. Because Subnautica, great game. Great sort of adventure game, survival game. Really is good. I'm thinking on doing some... Some streams on that. It is. It is good for Xbox. It really is. Not sure it's like on the PlayStation. Um, I mean, I play it on PC. Really good. It's really good. Um... To be fair, Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero, I think, is one of the one of the best games out there at the moment. Is it Commander Bullet? Is that no, don't like Subnautica? Or is that a no, not played it? Because it is good. It, it, it's a nice change of pace. And there's a good story behind the game. Um, Below Zero has been going through major rewrites prior to its release. They hired new, new writers the mid part of last year and all the rest of it. You know, so it's it's all very, you know, sci-fi esque. There's been a lot of games like Solaris, bit a bit like that. You know, um, from what I can imagine, you crash land, you've got to sort yourself out. No Man's Sky. Now, I, I played a lot of that when it came out, um, and then after the patches, I played a lot of it. It's nowhere near Elite Dangerous. Good base building dynamic in there, though. I haven't played it for about, ooh, about a year and a half. And I'm pretty sure, you know, No Man's Sky is a complete and utter different game to what I was playing. You know, it, it, it really is, really is something. So as for other games out there to go and play, I mean, some of the strategy games like Frostpunk and, you know, They Are Billions, those are the mass games that are coming at you. They're quite good uh, and, and pretty good for, um, oh, for God's sake. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? They're quite good. But as for cutting edge games, you know, it's difficult to find a really good one. You're right, Rob. You're right there, Rob. With No Man's Sky, it was good. And like I say, good dynamics, good ideas everywhere. They did a hell of a lot of work to sort of bring it back into the sort of game people were going to play. But there's not that sort of rebound game tastic element that Elite Dangerous has got. It it just hasn't got it. Um, and there are people who are diehards and will play it till the cows come home, and that's great. Good for them. Um, it, it's very. I don't know. Once you've played Elite, there are not many games that will. Compare to it, I don't think, anyway. Decent enough, like you say. Yeah, I know, and as for Star Citizen, I agree with you there. Not only have you got to have a PC powerful enough to run the thing. Right? But then there's a huge learning curve for it. And the game is not finished. I mean, what I've found 
couple of years ago when I was playing Star Citizen was that you learn how to do something fly the ship for example and then yeah exactly and then it's a case of they change it in the next release you're like oh great um thanks for that you know when I do a PC upgrade I'll revisit it I think Space Haven. Hmm. Space Haven, eh? He says, googling. Space Haven. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what that is. Yeah, Space Haven. Embark on a space voyage with your ragtag crew of civilians in search of a new home. Build spaceships. Oh, I might be an interdicted. One moment. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Um... Oh. Do me a favour. was I saying? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Manage the needs and moods of the crew. Yeah, it's got very positive reviews in there. Very positive reviews. I do play on PC. I also play on Xbox. Commander Odd Sock Eater. Excellent name. <laughs> the Eater of Odd Socks. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? I'll pop it on my... Um, on my wish list. see how that goes but as for games out there you know I mean I think game development has been suffering just like all the rest of us have you know I mean I was watching one of the Slithering Games uh, podcasts or streams on Twitch the other day and they were talking about Black Lab Games, their new game, because they did Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed, as you know. And now they're doing a turn based, with better graphics, Warhammer 40k game. And when they announced it, because there was much secrecy, I th I, my heart dropped a bit, because how many. Warhammer 40k games are out there. I mean, there's loads. I mean, there's Gladius and the Warhammer turn-based stuff. And then there's um, Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2. Um, I, think, I think Frontier are doing a Warhammer game as well. Right? And I thought, do we really need another one? But Open Mind and all the rest of it, We'll, we'll have a go. Play it a bit. Put it on the channel. See how it goes. Um, and what have you. And I think, you know, Rob, I think you, you've got it there. People need to chill out games, you know. Games to relax. And, you know, get a little bit of sort of like appreciation back from the game after putting some time into it. I mean, I've been saying, I, mean, I, I bought an Oculus Quest 2 before Christmas and um, I haven't really used it much anyway we've all been there we're in lockdown we're all getting fatter aren't we and I bought a game called Fitness XR right and Fitness XR is it's basically boxer size 
And the other half of it is not boxer size, it's like dancer size. But I don't do the dancing, that's for my daughter, right? Sort of dance aerobic thing. Uh, but the boxer size, I started two weeks ago. Um, I, I'm not... I didn't think I was that unfit. <laughs> right. But after a year of being sort of sedate and not being able to go too far and, you know, riding your bike when the weather's good and all the rest of it, I was quite surprised. But anyway, this sort of boxer size, yes, cheesy dancey music and all the rest of it, but focus on what you can get out of it, I thought was really good. Uh, you know, if any of you know, sort of like kickboxing, karate, snap punch, jab, reverse punch, uppercut, roundhouse punch, that sort of thing, and then the squats and lunges to either side, um, I've started doing 20 minutes each morning, and I feel fantastic for doing it. You know, I, mean, I, I had a long history with kickboxing. I did it for 20 years. Um, and then, you know, full contact karate before that. But, you know, and some of that does get in the way of what you're meant to be doing because, you know, you're, you're punching for the heavyweight title when you do it. Whereas, you know, you, you've got to maintain rhythm for something like boxer size. But it's a really good, um, it's a really good release, I would say. Plus as well on the Oculus Quest 2, they've got things like AppLab which are um, games that are near to um, release, that they're putting out there for people to download uh, and give feedback on, you know, that developers are doing. So a bit like side quest and side loading. Is SnowRunner any good? Now that's, that's the, the program of the train going through the snow, isn't it? Just so I'm sure. And isn't... Um, who's the actress in it? It does look good. I quite fancy that. It's a train running through the outlands. And it's snowing. You're right, Rob. It does have... Um, independence but you can connect it to a pc as well now i've not done that well i have done it i've done it and connected it to side quest to side load additional applications um what i haven't done is connected to elite dangerous yet great games on there right great games um driving games combat games i was doing tai chi this morning after my box fit and then what should i do after that the kids have been playing Beat Saber and they, somebody else has been playing um, or walking around art galleries. You know, really opened your eyes. You know, I, I showed the missus the Northern Lights from Scotland in the living room, you know, in, in high definition. It's great. You know, what a tool for, um, you know, for, for kids learning. For your own education, fitness. I mean, I'm sold on it. I really am. Really sold on it. Really good. Really enjoy it. So here we are in Northrop Enterprises. Going to our combat bonds. Ain't got no vouchers. Always with authority contact. We got 2.36 million in bounty vouchers. Well, that's rubbish, isn't it? What material trade has old Northrop got? Ooh, look at that. Loads of stuff. Um, let's see what we've got in the mission board. The mission board. Here we are in the mission board. Uh, it's a state of war. You can't do nothing. Look at that. Can't do nothing at all. So I'll have to jump to a partner in system to do anything else. But all that being said. Mm -hmm. 
Rob, the Oculus Quest 2, right? I mean, I bought an Oculus Quest 1 just before the 2 was out. And then I sent it back to game. Because with the Oculus Quest 1, there was sporadic connectivity to the PC. With the Oculus Quest 2, they've got it down to a fine art, right? It's lighter, more memory, it's faster. So I thought, right. So I've got that. Um, apparently, there's rumours the Oculus Quest 3 is coming out soon. Who knows? Right? Live in the moment. It's great. It's good enough. It doesn't need any cables. Dance around your living room looking like a Wally. Right? But no one can see you. Um, and have some fun. It really is good. Really good. So, financially, it has to be said, what a thoroughly unproductive weekend. However, in regards to rank, I am now 80% of dangerous. 20 more percent to go to get me to deadly. And I think, do a bit of that, I think, and then move on to the Guardian sites next Sunday. Next Saturday, I think we'll work on a bit of combat. See what's going on in the, in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy as well. Uh, of course, I want to work on my Rubigo Mines on my other account. And get that up on some of the money that's going on. So I can get out into the black. Do some exploring and what have you. Um, ready for when Odyssey hits. But all in all, yeah. I say bit of a damp squib of a weekend in regard to this so hey everybody what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the stream there uh thanks everybody for watching from 2 30 gmt all the way through now until five o'clock a good two just over two and a half hours of streaming i've really appreciated your company like i do always uh, i hope you've, you've got something out of this as well and it's helped pass the time on a sunday for you Video coming out tomorrow, and that's going to be all about what happened in last week's community goal in regards to the um, engineered lightweight cascade effect and high capacity clip uh, missile, missile rack. And then we'll see what goes on throughout the week. Might do some more videos as news comes in. But other than that, then it'll be this time next week, Saturday and Sunday, depending on when the rugby's on. And... Um, You know, we'll, we'll do some stuff knocking around then. I do appreciate you all coming around and hanging around for the stream. Like and subscribe. Drop me a follow. It's a like, if you like. Um, that's great. And if not, I'll see you through the week. And if not, I'll see you on next week's stream. Thanks very much for watching. Take care this week and really have a good one. All the ones who've been contributing in the chat... Thanks very much, and I'll speak to you all soon. Laters, fellas.